This is a 22 foot, 13 and a half feet tall by eight and a half feet wide RVIA certified tiny home. This house was built in June of 2017. Outside outlet. All the hookup equipment is also included. The metal siding has a 40 year warranty. Stove vent. Houses the propane tank. Second outside outlet. This is a 30 amp dryer vent. Sewer hookup. This houses water heater. water, electrical. You'll need a plumbing outlet. This houses the propane for easy storage. This is a 15 gallon propane tank. And with hot water being the only use for the propane, normally only go through about one of those a month, if not less. Second electric outlet. This is a 30 amp hookup. Dryer vent. sewer hookup. This tiny home must be hooked up to a sewer line. It is not self-contained. This houses the water heater. Water hookup, electrical hookup. Hello, I'm inside my 300 square foot double lofted tiny home. I'm going to show you some features of this house. There is vinyl plank flooring all throughout the house. 
included into the living space, the kitchen, and through the bathroom. All of the walls are white beeboard and continue all the way to the ceiling. The kitchen has over 10 feet of overhead space. The living space has three vinyl windows with custom accordion blinds. Four light fixtures. Thermostat for electric heat. The front door has these built-in blinds that can be controlled to move up and down and also to open, shut, and closed. These custom-built stairs have two levels of storage. The below storage has two access points. The bottom level is 187 square feet. The remaining is all included in the upper double lofts. Plenty of counter space with a customization to add a bar and tile backsplash that's continued throughout the kitchen into the bathroom and on the other side of the kitchen. There is a two burner cooktop that is electric with light and ventilation hood. The house also comes with its own manual with a list of all the warranties and all the features of this tiny home. Large alder cabinets with adjustable shelving. All of the wallpaper on the cabinetry walls and on the storage stairs is all very easily removable and customizable. A ton of cabinets below the sink. The master loft can be easily accessed by using these stairs equipped with a banister, double pane vinyl window. There are three electrical outlets right below the large windows, knotty pine for the wood. There's over four feet of overhead space. This is an eight by six feet loft and is large enough for a king size bed and also nightstand and clothing storage. The lighting from the downstairs can also be adjusted from up on top of the loft.
And for your safety, one of the windows is equipped to be an egress. With the height of this loft is tall enough for you never to hit your head when you wake up in the morning. Let me show you in to the second loft. Stairs with banister. Viewing window. Four light fixtures. Three wall outlets. The loft is eight by six feet and has four feet of overhead space. Large enough for a king size bed and nightstand. Overhead lighting. And the house also is electrically hooked up for a ceiling fan. The secondary loft can be accessed through the stowaway stairs. Ladder is made of knotty pine. Same wood that is used for both of the lofts. The loft is four by six and has over 48 inches of overhead space. Equipped with three wall outlets and four light fixtures, two large double pane windows, smaller window, the ladder also makes it easy to access the overhead cabinets in the kitchen, including the one over the hood of the stove. These large windows allow a lot of natural light to come in. There is over 10 feet of overhead space in the kitchen making this house feel really big. The ladder stores easily. And can be easily stowed right behind in between the refrigerator. The bathroom also comes with three overhead lights and ventilation. The lighting in the lofts can also be controlled from the bottom to be turned on and off.